so as you all know, um, Jason uh, is the founder of CrossFit and he has been tasked by the executive team to bring um, CrossFit towards uh, for all the sites across uh, HGSD. So without further ado, I'll let uh, Jason to talk more about it. Good afternoon. Hello. Hope you guys are enjoying your lunch. <laughs> I uh, we came a pretty long way to uh, get to come talk to you guys today a little bit about CrossFit. So my name is Jason. Uh, I'm here today with uh, my dad, uh, Robert, um, Janet, yeah, <laughs> Janet, who actually runs all of our HGC locations worldwide, and then Matt as well, who does finance for us at NorCal CrossFit. So. Uh, a little bit about what we do. I, I personally compete professionally in the sport of CrossFit, but we also um, have been tasked by Mike Cordano and the executive team about three years ago to start bringing CrossFit to HGST. And it started out, not slow, but it started off just two locations in San Jose, California, which is where the headquarters are at, and it's expanded from there. So from there, I went to Malaysia, then we went here, we went to Philippines, we went to China, and I've had the opportunity to visit all of these sites now. And so today uh, culminates the trip that we've been on for the last week where we hit two locations in Japan, one in Malaysia, and now here today. And so what I want to do today is just talk about CrossFit, explain the benefits of it, and why the executive team for HST is so supportive of CrossFit. Because it's not just another program here, they want to make CrossFit the program, the fitness component for all of you here. And um, I want to just explain why. So. With that said, how many of you guys have ever tried CrossFit? Okay. How many of you guys consistently do CrossFit? All right. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Pretty good. How many of you guys have never tried CrossFit before? All right. You're the people I'm talking to right now. All right. So, I'm talking to everybody, obviously, but I want to just explain. For those of you who haven't tried it, I want to I want to just demystify it. I want to explain the benefits and and really just break it down to its you know its beginnings. So why CrossFit, right? Why has HGST determined that CrossFit is the future of their fitness program for worldwide? Why CrossFit? Why not um, just offer only yoga or why offer only other programs? Well, CrossFit. It's a blend of strength and conditioning. So what we're looking for is not only to get you fit to be able to be mobile and stretch, for example, but also to have good lungs and cardiovascular, but also be strong enough to lift things up. We want you to have functional application outside the gym. We want you to be able to perform your daily lives. And CrossFit's a great way to do that. But what CrossFit's also really good at is developing a sense of community. And so what we've seen at HGST in particular is you have um, this this culture that was old IBM, old Hitachi, right, kind of transformed into HGST. And so the executive team is doing many different things to bring the community together and, and build an identity, but one item that we're using is CrossFit. CrossFit bridges the gap. It connects people. Whether you're a manager or an entry level or you're in finance or accounting, it's irrelevant. We're all just gonna work out together partner together and have a great workout together. And so for those of you who have never tried it, I encourage you to come in and do it, not only for your own physical fitness, yes, that's important, but also because it's so important for this company to come together as a unit and continue for the future. So what is CrossFit? CrossFit, by definition, is constantly varied functional movements at a high intensity. A lot of buzzwords, okay? So what does constantly vary mean? Constantly vary means that every day when you come into CrossFit, we're gonna do something different. Sometimes we'll go long, sometimes we'll go short, sometimes we'll go heavy, sometimes we'll go light, and sometimes we'll blend in between. But the goal is to develop your overall capacity. So imagine if this is you. You're happy, okay? That's you. And all of a sudden, life demanded that you did something. Let's just say life demanded that you got up out of a chair. You're still happy. Check, you can do that, right? 
now life demanded that you um, ran after your son because he's running to the street and you need to sprint. Question is, when's the last time you sprinted? Well, are you going to get a check mark or are you going to get an X? You should probably try and get a check mark, right? Because life demanded you need to be able to run, so you should be able to do that. How about if life demanded that a flood was coming and you needed to move sandbags to protect your house for two hours? Do you have the ability to do that today? And if you don't, that's fine, but let's try and work towards that. And so in CrossFit, we want you to be able to do things in the gym that benefit you for outside the gym. Things such as lifting your child up. Things such as walking up the stairs and not getting out of breath. Things such as getting out of a chair on your own and not having to use your hands to help you. That's what CrossFit's all about, is that it doesn't matter if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 80 years old. I want you guys to be doing CrossFit for the rest of your lives so you can live a good quality of life. That's the key. We use functional movements. Functional movements in the sense that we do things, again, that you find outside the gym. Like what? Squatting, pressing, lifting. These are all practical movements. I'm going to use the example of my mom, and I talked about this uh, actually when we were in Japan the other day. So my mom started CrossFit with me about two and a half years ago. Same with my dad. And the reason why they got into CrossFit was because my daughter had turned, uh, I think, two. And she was getting bigger, right? Naturally. And so my mom was having a little bit of a hard time lifting her into the car, lifting her up, right? Have any of you guys ever tried to put a child in a car seat that's in like the middle of the car? Have you ever tried that? It's not that easy, right? Especially if they're relatively heavy. You need to have some pure strength. So my mom was having a relatively tough time with that. And she's not old. She's, you know, 50s or whatever she is. She's not old. She should be able to lift my daughter up. But she had a tough time. So she came into CrossFit. Not only has she lost a lot of weight, but she's also had the capacity now to lift my daughter up, which is a functional movement. So keep in mind what I'm trying to address so far, guys, is that CrossFit's not about what you maybe see on TV or hear from your friends. Oh my God, it's so hard. CrossFit. <laughs> what CrossFit's about is quality of life and being able to perform the daily tasks that are brought your way. My mom should be able to lift up my daughter. My dad should be able to go run down the street. It's a natural thing. Okay? And lastly, comes down to this high intensity piece. And this is where people get a little wrapped up. High intensity, all that really means, guys, is the best of your effort. So whether you've exercised every day for the last 10 years or you've never exercised before, it's fine. As long as you come to CrossFit and you work at the best of your ability, that's all we're asking for you to do. That's it. Okay? And so my dad and I did a workout yesterday. We worked out together. I've been doing CrossFit every day of my life for over 10 years. I'm relatively fit. So when I perform this workout, I know what I'm capable of. But my dad and I were both able to do the exact same workout with Janet, but we scaled it according to our levels. So for example, I did 95 pounds. Janet did 65 pounds. My dad did 45 pounds, right? But we scale it according to your fitness level. So for all of you sitting here who've never tried CrossFit, it's not about getting your butt kicked. It's not about, you know, that kind of stuff. It's about starting off wherever you're at, based on your physical and mental abilities, right? And then just go from there. But guys, fitness is not something we're trying to have like this. Here's you today, right? My goal with your fitness is not to take you from where you're at today to right here in a month. Fitness is a long trajectory to this distant horizon, right? Most of you guys are in here, you're 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever. I don't want you just doing CrossFit from when you're 40 years old to when you're 45. Because then what? You're probably going to go back down like this. I want you doing CrossFit three, four days a week every week for the rest of your life. Why? Because then your quality of life will be excellent. So here you are today, happy the lucky, and this is where I want you at a year from now. And what's the key here? Better. That's it. I don't care how much better. You don't need to go and you know lift a thousand pounds. You just need to be better. What is better? Better is better. 
You have better health markers. You can lift a little bit more weight. You don't feel so out of breath walking up the stairs. That's better. So here you are today. Here's our way to be a year from now. Does that make sense? Cool. I'm trying to break down the barriers of CrossFit. All we're trying to do is just talk about making you better. <laughs> so how do we stay safe? Another thing I hear is, oh my God, CrossFit's dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to get hurt, right? Okay, I get it, I get it. Currently today, our company, NorCal CrossFit, has 1,100 people a day doing CrossFit at our normal gyms in San Jose, California, a day. And we have about 11 to 1,200 employees of HGST doing it on a daily basis, more or less, throughout the rest of the world. 1,200 employees. Okay? We're talking Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, China, all over the world. The amount of injuries that we see is very minimal. Very, very minimal. And what it really comes down to is quality of coaching. The coaches that you're going to have here at Singapore or any other HGST location are going to be top notch. We're going to follow a charter to make sure you guys are safe. We're going to first make sure your mechanics all right, can you perform a squat, right? Okay, yeah, they know the points performance, you can do it pretty well. Then we say, okay, can you consistently, am I spell that wrong? Can you consistently perform it well? So not only one squat, right, but multiple squats in a row. Can you do it? Then, and only then, we're gonna add some intensity, to get you a stimulus that's gonna get your results. But all around the world, guys, I'm sitting here, I've been to every single HGST location in the world, okay? Not many people can say that. And I've witnessed people do incredible things through CrossFit. But one thing I can tell you with 100% certainty, looking straight in your face, you are more likely to get injured walking up the stairs or carrying a box because of lack of you ever doing those things than you are doing CrossFit. When you do CrossFit, you develop strength. And we teach with a coach there. Said so this way, when you get outside and you maybe tweak your knee a little bit, it doesn't injure you. Instead, you have the strength to support that structure. Come in and learn how to do things right. Said so this way, when you're outside, not only do you know how to perform them better, but you have the prerequisite strength to be able to do things better. Safety, and make sure you guys don't get injured, is a prime, perfect thing that we're looking to do. We make sure that you guys are safe because ultimately, if you guys get injured and you're not working out for a week or two or three weeks, you're not getting fit. And guess what's happening to my line? You're not moving forward. You're either stagnant or you're moving backward. Which brings me to my final thing that I want to talk to you guys about today. If so far you're not convinced about CrossFit, I think that this right here is going to be the kicker. <laughs> All right? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking it up a little bit, right? <laughs> How many of you guys are on the fence? A couple of you guys are on the fence still, right? This is it, okay? So in life, all right, whether you're in the Philippines, Singapore, or any other country, your doctors have certain benchmarks that qualify you as being sick, being well, or being fit, right? We're talking about blood markers, things like blood pressure, cholesterol, resting heart rate. Are you guys familiar with these things? Pretty simple, right? In the United States, we'll use our kind of numbers, okay? We have a, a, a resting heart rate, right? So when you're just sitting here, what's your heart doing? Well, if you're like 80 beats per minute, like your heart's just working really hard, it's probably not a good thing. That's going to put you down here in this sick category, you know, 80 beats per minute, blood pressure's high, cholesterol's high, so high that your doctor says to you, hey, we need to get you on blood thinners, we need to get you on cholesterol medication, etc. Right? Body fat is you know 40%, BMI is off the chains, you're overweight, right? This person cannot lift up 10 pounds or 20 pounds off the floor and has a tough time getting out of bed. We're gonna say that this person right here is borderline sick. They're in trouble. Okay? A couple more wrong steps and they're going to have to go into assisted living because they can't do things on their own. Everybody get where we're at so, so far? None of you guys are there yet. All right? <laughs> so then, 
We're going to go up a little bit to well. Okay? Well would be you go to your doctor. Instead of your doctor, if your doctor was here, you're like, hey, man, you got to change some things. When you go to well, you go to your doctor, blood pressure's okay, cholesterol's okay, resting heart rate's okay, you know, you're a little bit overweight, body fat's, you know, 30%, 25%, whatever, and your doctor just says to you, hey, you know what, you're not killing it, you're not doing terrible, you're okay, come see me in a year, right? <laughs> okay, that's well. You know, you can kind of lift something off the floor, you can kind of press up your head, you can generally just walk up the stairs, you're okay, right? Then you have fit. Body fat's 10% or less. You can lift three times your body weight off the floor. You could run a mile in sub six minutes. You could uh, you could do all these incredible feats. Your blood pressure, cholesterol, all these different things. You go to the doctor and he asks you one question. This has happened to me before, so that's why I'm saying this. My doctor says to me, I don't know what you're doing, but whatever you're doing, you need to keep doing it for the rest of your life. Whatever it is. I don't care what you're doing. Just keep doing it. Because your blood markers are on point, and I know your physical fitness markers are on point as well. So that puts you in this fit category. Everybody with me so far? All right. So now I'm going to take my mom again. My mom comes and sees me two years ago. She's on medication for different things. She's overweight by 30, 40, maybe even 50 pounds. She's having a tough time lifting light weights off the floor. I'm going to place her right here. She comes into CrossFit. She spends two years dedicating her life three, four times a week to coming in. Eating better. Not perfect, but better. She goes from here to here. Simply by adding in a small fitness regimen and doing things better when it comes to nutrition. All of a sudden now, she goes back to her doctor, and her doctor says, hey, Again, I don't know what you're doing. I don't really care. <laughs> but your numbers are going in the right direction. And whatever you're doing, just please keep doing it. Okay? So now my mom is here. Everybody with me so far? Now why does that matter? Here's the ta-da moment. <laughs> if something in life happens to my mom, and she was right here, and she can't exercise for three, six months. Maybe her mom got sick. Maybe there's a death in the family. Maybe she's on vacation for a while. Maybe she loses her job. It's very easy for her to go from being semi-okay to not that okay. She doesn't have a very big hedge there, right? Now, all of a sudden, she starts working out a couple times a week. She starts eating better. And guess what? She's here. Now, what does she have? She has money in the bank. It's like savings, okay? All of a sudden, something happens to her, right? And she can't exercise. She can't necessarily eat as well for a little while. Where does she go? She goes from here. A month later, she's here. Six months later, she's here. And guess what? A year later, she's back here. But guess what she's done? She's built herself a hedge against sickness by working towards her fitness so this way, over the span of this year, or however long it takes, she could reassess her life and move back in the right direction. But if you're staggering here, it's very quick to get into this category where all of a sudden you're on medication for things. So my goal for each and every one of you in this room, I don't care where you're at on this continuum. I really, it really doesn't matter. My goal is for you to have money in the bank. Consider it your retirement fund, okay? <laughs> I want you to go from wherever you're at towards fitness. Because by working towards fitness, it takes you away from sickness. And at the end of the day, that's going to be a good thing long term. And from a company perspective, HGST CrossFit is committed to not only getting you guys more fit as individuals, but also making the entire uh, company more fit by connecting people, having you guys uh, create new relationships with other people. Some of you, you know, a lot of people, they come into work, they don't really talk to many people. I mean, they talk to the same people. I'll give you a quick story. First time I started, I was introduced to HGST. I went to the headquarters. And I was working the procurement group. At the time when I first got this gig with HGST, I had never even procurement. I was like, who's those guys? I was like, all right, I'm going to talk to them. Right? I had no idea what procurement even meant. I was coming out of college. They didn't, you know, whatever. So I'm a gym, I'm a gym rat, right? 
So I go and I meet this procurement group, and I sit down, and I'll never forget this. I'm like, hi, I'm looking for Katie Black, okay? Catherine Black, I said that this, this gentleman right here. <laughs> and this, it was actually a, a lady I was talking to. And this lady says to me, I think she's the one sitting in the cubicle, which is too down. Oh, there goes your camera, Dad. <laughs> and so she says to me, it's all right, it's in the recycling bin. <laughs> so anyways, so I say to this woman, I say, hi, do you know where Katie Black is? She says, I think it's the woman sitting two doors down from me, right? But I don't quite know her name. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, hang on a second. You're telling me that you sit two cubicles away. Literally, I could throw a pen at this person and you don't even know her name. How long have you guys worked here together? She's like, three years. I'm like, hang on a second. <laughs> so you know the woman sits three, you know, and she goes, no. And I'm just like, wow, that's incredible. Another quick story for you. There's two gentlemen at HGST. They worked together for 20 years when it was previously a Hitachi, IBM, etc. They've been there forever. They've seen each other at the gym every day for, I think, you know, whatever this is, 10, 15 years. Every day they've seen each other at the gym. Never once did they introduce themselves. Never. All of a sudden they start doing CrossFit, and now they're like best friends. Right? I don't remember. Do you remember their name, Janet? The gentleman? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I don't remember who that was. I wasn't uh, there. Yeah. It was at Great Oaks, one of the locations. The point I'm trying to make, guys, is that CrossFit, yes, it's about getting you more fit, but think about what it could do from a company perspective. Think about what it could do from a relationship perspective. So if you can't get convinced to do CrossFit because you want to get more fit for yourself, try and come and do CrossFit because you want to make the company, you want to see the vision out of the executive team, and you want to see what kind of relationships you can build here at work. Instead of just walking in and leaving, now all of a sudden you have a bunch of friends, and you're connecting with them through fitness. That's one way you're going to be able to do that. But again, if that doesn't convince you, go back to this. <laughs> Put money in that bank, all right? Any questions, guys? Any questions for me? The people who have never tried CrossFit, did I kind of sell you? No? A little bit? I feel like you're on the spot? All right, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, all right, well, I'm good, guys. So please, 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 please. Come in and try CrossFit here. You have excellent coaches. We're looking to um, transform. We're going to have more offerings. We're going to really look at it from, a, from the ground up, right, guys? Don't feel intimidated about lifting a bunch of weights. We don't need to do that. We're going to have programs that can be catered towards the lighter weights and, and things that you're maybe interested in. And we'll start there and we'll progress you up. But if you're intimidated in any way, shape, or form, don't worry. Walk in the door, say hi to your coach, introduce yourself, and just get ready to make a step forward from wherever you're at today to one step forward. I don't need you to get here. I just need you to get here. That's it. Cool? All right, guys. We'll see you guys at the gym. standing in front of you can change your life. <laughs> I'm serious. All you need to do is do this. Walk in the door and say, hi, I'm Jason, right? And I'm ready to try CrossFit. <laughs> and Sing's got your back. I think we should have a class for all the people who haven't taken, haven't tried it yet in the room. And uh, you guys should sign up before you leave with Sing. <laughs> I'm serious. Come, come, see me, come see me and Sing if you've never tried CrossFit and you want, you know, I just gave a pretty excellent talk. <laughs> I, think, I think they're more than, they're more than convinced right now. They're ready to go. Yeah. We need to get these people in. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So we have, uh, we just started 30 minute classes every Monday and Wednesday from 5.30 to 6 p.m. So it's just 30 minutes. Uh, if you think one hour is too much, you just come for this class. It's going to be uh, a beginner's uh, session. So you don't have to worry about, you know, 
uh, people who have been doing it for a long time and then you see them the same then you get a bit scared, right? <laughs> Just come for it, I'll be there. I'm very friendly. Behind, really. Yeah, yeah, cool. Nice. Yeah, I look forward to meeting all of you. Yeah. Yes. All right. Sounds good. Well, I think we're uh, well ready to go. Yes. Okay. No more questions for Jason. And he's here. Ask questions. Yes. <laughs> oh, so you, you, you'll find the same. What's the heaviest you can carry? <laughs> Um, so here's here's a here's an interesting thing. Uh, remember I told you I've been doing cross almost every day of my life for ten years. It's the truth, right? I've been doing this for a decade. And when we're talking about your guys' goals, where you're at today, and where I want you to be, same thing with me, only a little bit different because I've been doing it for a lot longer, right? So my level is kind of like over here because I've been doing it for so many years, right? Well, here's an interesting thing. You asked me about how much weight I can lift. Are you, are you familiar with what a clean and jerk is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a clean and jerk is taking the weight from the floor, boom, you take it to your shoulder, you put it over your head. I hit a uh, one rep max best. How many of you guys watched the HGST, the Invitational, where it was Team USA versus other teams? Anybody see that? Yeah? So HGST actually sponsored this event, and I was competing for the United States, and uh, that was about three months ago. I hit an all-time best after 10 years. I hit it there. And I hit it again two days before I came here of 360 pounds. But to give you perspective, right, when I started CrossFit, guess what my best clean and jerk was? 130 pounds, right? Not even. 130 pounds. I didn't know what I was doing, you know. But all of a sudden, I started getting coached and I started working hard. And I went from wherever I was at to now 360 pounds, right? Triple whatever it was in the beginning. But here's the big kicker is that I'm a guy who's been doing this at the highest level for 10 years, yet once a month, I set a new personal record for myself. I'm yet to see my results plateau, yet. And so when you come into CrossFit, the cool thing is, you're really trying to reach what you can do from a human performance standpoint. Like, isn't there a little part of you in your head where you're kind of curious, like, I wonder what my body's capable of doing. I wonder what I could do, you know, as a human being. Can I actually lift that? <laughs> Maybe. I'll try and get there, you know? And uh, all of a sudden what you'll find is that through these different efforts of trying to get better in the fitness realm, they're going to carry over into other things you guys do in life. So for me, I work out all the time not because I have to, but because I truly enjoy it. It's a stress reliever, but it keeps me focused. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm focused, I'm ready. And what I do is I approach the workout as if I approach my meetings, right? So for example, if you're trying to hit a new you know, record for yourself, and you're really dedicated to the gym, that carries over in everything else you do. So you'll see that, I promise. Just come in and uh, you'll see the carryover from what CrossFit can do for you into your workplace. It's pretty cool. Anything else? They are not a very questiony bunch. But <laughs> either did a really good job talking or... What yeah. other companies are doing the CrossFit? Uh, uh, that's a good question. So HGST by far, by far, is the industry leader in CrossFit at, at, at a company. You know, uh, every day about, I talk to Mike Cordano, almost every day, and he's a diehard CrossFitter, but he also recognizes what it can do from the you know, community standpoint. And so he's a, a huge visionary in this. And so other companies are doing it. Um, we do some stuff with Twitter, but Twitter does uh, CrossFit. Google does CrossFit. Uh, uh, we have other companies we work with back in San Jose on a, on a smaller scale that do CrossFit. But Generally speaking, you guys are the industry standard. You guys are the ones doing it the best. Reebok does it, but no one like you guys. Like we put on a, a, a fitness competition the other day in California. It was HGST versus Twitter versus Google. Yeah, that was it. It was just those three. And HGST won. So, you know, you guys are repping your Zenny proud from a, from, a, from a corporate CrossFit standpoint. You are the industry standard right now. No way to answer buttons. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Cool. All right. So, thank you, Jason, right. for giving this. Thanks for coming, guys. Thank you. Uh, for all participants, if you have not um, signed your attendance, please do sign uh, with Jenny over there. Uh, if not, then just get it.
Oh, sure. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna text this to Mike right now, saying that all you guys are coming to do CrossFit tomorrow. <laughs> CrossFit talking? Yeah. You know, I do CrossFit. That's a fucking. Oh, we can do, we can do, we can talk if you guys want right now, but do some lunges while we do it. 